Hello there, my name's Stephen Ritchie. I'm a steel sculptor from Asheville in Kent. I thought I'd take you through one of my previous projects and see if I can do it under three minutes. So, the commission was to have a dragon leaping off a rock in someone's front garden. So, I produced some drawings, I gather materials. Most of my materials come out of scrap bins, but sometimes I have to buy the odd sheet or two, which is what I had to do in this particular case. So, once I've cut some triangles and shaped some things, uh, shaped the wings a little bit, given a little bit of a curve, um, I then weld the wings together. The majority of the head and body is made out of uh, circles of which I've spent a good deal of time pushing them about underneath a, a, a fly press or I've been hammering them over a dolly and a dolly is just a, a shape that I can put into the vise and then hammer. Um, the head and the torso is made in, sort of made up of little circles like that. Uh, I like to make them out of at least three pieces to make them easier to handle and transport apart from anything else. And um, um, once I've made them, if I'm doing some shows or happen to be doing some shows around that time, even if they're only half finished, I still take them out with me to show people the process and what I'm up to and things. And that's what I did in this particular case. I took it to a place called Heaver Castle, which is a castle in Kent. Oh, it might be a bit in Sussex, but anyway. Um, yeah, and in fact, I got more commissions from it because it was a nice scale, affordable scale for people as well. Some of the bigger pieces were a lot more expensive. So that's what I did in this particular case. When I came back from the shows, I took it to the galvanizers, had the whole thing galvanized, which came out really well. I've got a good relationship with the galvanizers. From there, I etch primed and then matte blacked it. And then with like a scotch bright, buffed some of the black away to go back um, to the galvanized level. So you can see a little bit of a shine and, and pick out all the highlights. Uh, once I was happy with its finish and made arrangements with the customers to, to uh, find a good weekend to go up there, popped it into my motor home and um, off to Somerset to put it on my rock. They were really pleased. They were really lovely customers and uh, paid up in full, which is always a good sign. Um, I made them a little sign as well to go with it which they bolted on their cell so I just posted it to them and um, happy days so all from mole steel basic tools uh, basic methods mainly fly pressing and hammering to be able to, to produce these sort of things and obviously getting the proportions right look thanks very much for listening I hope um, I've managed to inspire you all to go out and make your own dragons thank you now <laughs> don't forget to subscribe bye bye